today we're showing you how to make a boutonniere. I'm Tia. And I'm Lindsay. And first we're going to show you what you need. You will need clippers, floral tape, we'll explain how to use this later. Your flowers, which mm -hmm. we have carnations. Your foliage, we're using leather fern. Your filler flowers. Different sized gauged wires. This is 24 gauge and this is 28. You will need both of them and we will explain that later on. <clears throat> you will want a pencil. And to stick it onto your shirt, you need a pen. This is a little pearl pen. Okay. <coughs> so how floral tape works is it's not like regular tape. It's not sticky. It only sticks to itself, but to get the adhesive to come out, you have to stretch it. So like this, it just stretches. So you have to stretch it before you attach it and it only sticks to itself. Also, the importance of filler flowers and greens are to accent the main flower and give it a little texture. Yeah. So with these ones, <laughs> with these ones, you these are more tropical and they are made with fake flowers, but the, you can see how the filler flowers are enhancing the mass flower but not overpowering it. Yes. Okay, so select your flower, and as she said before, we're using carnations. And a tip, if your flower isn't as open as you want, Such as this flower. It's not very open. Just lightly, and carnations are about the only thing you can do this with, but lightly, you're just going to start pulling back the petals. But, like so. And then you have a much more full flower for your boot here, which is very important. Okay, so, so the first thing you're going to do with your flower is cut off the stem at the right at the base of the calyx. So I'm going to do it again, just right there. Then you're going to take your 24 gauge wire and you are going to puncture the calyx right in the middle as so, and pull it not, not halfway through, and then you're going to make a hairpin. <clears throat> and you don't want this to, complete, to overlap completely, you want a bit of a gap, like this. And then you are going to twist it mm, two to three times, not very many, just so it stays in place. <clears throat> so, once you've done that, you are going to wrap it, wrap it with your floral tape. So the way you do that is you want to have a nice clean end, so if it's rough, just rip that part off. And for the demonstration, we're going to take a piece off so we can show you better. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is you're going to start by pulling it first so it's adhesive-y. And then you are going to take it, start wrapping it around the flower at a 45 degree angle. If you go straight, you won't be able to wrap it down all the way. You also want to wrap your flower all the way down unless your instructor tells you otherwise. So, another easier way to wrap a flower is to turn the flower, not the tape. It's a much faster and easier way to and don't forget to pull it or else it won't stick and if at the end of wrapping your flower you find that it's really bumpy and has a little like a lot of bumps in your wrapping you can just twist it in between your hands like this or just mat it down. And if so. it's too bad, you can always redo it also. Yes. But you don't want it too bulky or else in your boutonniere it will show and you don't really want a bulky boutonniere. So. So this is what it'll look like the finish wrapping. The next thing you will want to do is Get your filler flowers, not too much. Because you don't want this to overpower. See, for this one, I've already wrapped it. So you just want it at the base. 
or add a base stem. Just wrap your wire and twist it around a few times, like that. So this should be an accent. You don't want it to be overpowering. And then you're going to take a small piece of tape, like so. And you're just going to wrap, well, pulling of course, you're going to pull and just wrap it the rest of the way down. <clears throat> you want about a quarter of an inch to an inch of tail on your filler flower just to make purchase with the tape. So like that. And then next you're going to need your foliage, which with the foliage, they're very um, fragile, so this is when we're going to use the 28 gauge wire, the much more thin stuff, because the foliage breaks really easily, and it can be pretty hard to wire. So what you're going to do is with, you're going to go to the, about the base two leaves, because you want it to be sturdy enough, and then you're going to wrap this over this and then you're gonna twist it a few times not too many though yeah you don't want it again with the whole bulky thing you just really don't want it to be too bulky then you are going to figure out how to place it which it should not be too high over it but just enough so that you can see it yeah so then you are also going to take a small piece of tape and just wrap it around of the to get it all to stick together. Yes. And of course, like always, you're going to have to make sure that you're pulling on your tape. So like this. Okay. Cool. And it's okay if at the back it's a little, your um, foliage has bent a little, it's just and keep in mind that when this goes on your body, it's going to be flat. So, so it, everything will be, it will get padded down. And so don't look and change it by looking at it straight like this, because that's not how it's going to look. You need to be kind of like place your hands, and that's how you can adjust it and figure out how you want it to look. Okay, the next thing you are going to do is wrap all of the wires with your tape. So start from the top and tape down like you did before. Make sure to pull as you're going and keep it at a 45 degree angle. Once you get, once you get taping down, it's really, it's really easy. So if you don't get it the first time, don't worry about it. You just need to practice. And a lot of people, it's good to practice on like a pencil before. You just kind of get to see how the tape like um, likes to be pulled just exactly how you need to do it. Also keep in mind that it's easier to tape if you turn your flower, not your tape. So if you twist the flower as I'm doing. And sometimes you just have this, this is just the 24 gauge wire that is sticking out and it's something that if you, you can just clip it off. Yeah, you don't need it there. So this is your finished product. You, as we said before, you might want to curl the tail. So how you do that is you're going to want it to curl away from you. So when you are curling it, curl it away from you. So just like this. And then just slowly just go back all the way around. There's your curly tail. <clears throat> so like this. <clears throat> so there you have your finished product with your curled tail. And this is when, if you want, the pins come in. And they usually, you can just use a regular sewing pin or these have little rhinestones or, or pearls. Pearl. And today I think I am going to use a rhinestone. <laughs> okay. 
I'll be using a pearl. So what you do is you're going to kind of lift up your shirt so it's harder to poke yourself. You're going to want to put it through once and, as so. And then take your flower and put it through the flower. And then once you get through the flower, you're going to put it back through your shirt. And then you are done. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. For <laughs>